Hi, my name is Mark Tennant. I'm one of the directors of Inspire to Coach. Later this year, we're about to launch a very, very exciting set of resources for tennis coaches. Can't tell you too much more now, except that it's to do with the serve. And I believe that it's going to be the single most important resource released this year. Just to whet your appetite a little bit, I'm going to show you a couple of little drills which you can implement into your program with kids and adults immediately. I've always believed that the serve is very important and I'm sure a lot of other coaches, maybe you as well, also believe that the serve is probably the most important shot in the game. And yet when we watch our players play, quite often their serves lag well behind in terms of technical development compared to the ground strokes. And I believe that the main reason for that is because the serve simply just doesn't get enough of a look in. It doesn't get practiced enough in many lessons. So I'm going to show you three very simple tips little drills, little exercises that you can implement into your program immediately that just bring the serve into the lesson more so that there is just mo more serving and more overarm throwing going on in your lessons. So here's the first one. It's a very simple warm-up exercise. Quite often we see players who warm up with ground strokes and volleys but they don't warm up the serves and I just don't see how that's possible to say that we warm up if we're not uh, including the most important shot in the game. So here goes with the first exercise. So it's very simple, you can see my friend George and I um, just working from the service line here with an overarm throw and we're also making sure that there's a little bit of energy as with the receiver or the returner, just making sure that we're just ticking along with the feet and then having a little split step just so we've got some, some movement and some energy to it. So just a couple more, we need to make sure we get into a serving position, you can check the position of the hand here to make sure we've got the ch chopper grip in place. And just a, an overarm throw there, I keep moving, I step, I move, I catch. It's extremely simple, but just by doing that we can already start to increase the amount of overarm throwing action which we might have in the lesson. That's tip number one. Number two, to help you to have more serving going on in your lessons. This one's about basket feeding. There's nothing wrong with basket feeding whatsoever, but it can cause you problems in terms of the fact that it's denying the player the potential opportunity to serve more. Here's the problem. I've got my basket, and I feed to George. You may think there's nothing wrong with that, but the problem is, is that I effectively become the server because I'm putting the ball into play. So George, by definition, becomes the returner. And with a very simple switch, we can actually get George to practice more serving in his lessons, even if the serve isn't the main theme or the main topic for the lesson you're working on. So if we're working on George's cross-court forehand, for example, with this very simple change here, I can get George to feed the ball in with the serve. As I said, it may not be the theme for the lesson, but it gets him to practice his overarm serving, and then we can continue with whatever it might be that I'm working on with his forehand. Okay, George. So if I want to work on the technique on his forehand, I can still do it, but the difference is we've added the serving just so that George gets more serving practice throughout the lesson. The final tip. Again, it's extremely simple, and all of these things really are just are about a change of mindset. I'm not asking you to change your behavior uh, in any major way. It's just adding a little something into what I'm sure you already do day in, day out. So I'm sure you have players all the time who rally, for example, cross-court here, but the thing is that I bet that they probably start most of their rallies with an underarm feed here like this. And of course, every one of those is a missed opportunity. Have a look again. Again, it's an underarm feed. And there's no reason 
why it couldn't be an overarm feed, an overarm serve to start the rally. And we see that day in, day out in our clubs, don't we? We see players who start the rallies with an underarm feed. And it's just a missed opportunity. So with a very, very simple change in the way we set the drill up, we could just get the player serving the ball in. And then play the return. So just by changing the way that you prioritize the serve in the drills that you already do, you can multiply the amount of serving of practices and practicing opportunities that your players get, just very, very simply. This is not about a major change in the way that you go about things. It's just about having the serve to be a little bit more front of mind so that you can add the serve in at regular intervals throughout the lesson. And you'll find just by doing that, very simple changes, you'll find that the serve becomes much more part of what you do on a day-to-day -day basis.